Guys, I want to show you a headline from the Denver Post this morning. Can we get a close-up right there? Tulowitzki to talk trade. We knew this was coming. We knew it was coming. We knew if they had another bad season, Tulo was going to say, okay, I've had enough. It sounds like he's at that point. He's meeting with his agent in L.A., which isn't unusual. Right. He usually meets with his agent when he's in L.A. But the topic of discussion, we understand, is going to be whether or not Tulo walks into Dick Monfort or Jeff Bridis's office and says, enough, deal me. I'm tired of the losing. That's always been Dick Monfort's alibi. He's never asked me. He's never asked me. Well, you know what? Dick Monfort knows how unhappy Troy Tulowitzki is. Why do you really have to have Troy ask you? But I think any Rockies fan would agree, and I think you guys would agree, we don't want to see Tulowitzki wind up like Todd Helton, where he stays with one franchise for the rest of his career. I've been around a lot of athletes throughout my career, and I know you have a very close relationship with Peyton Manning. You know Peyton very well. When it comes to the will to win, and when it comes to a guy who loves his craft, I think Tulowitzki and Manning are very much on the same plane in terms of the way they it's good approach it's good comparison. the game. Yeah. Tulowitzki even a little bit more so than Helton, and Helton was a great player in his own right. But Tulowitzki wants to win, and let him go, but you got to get something for him. And I said this on my radio. I think even more importantly, he doesn't want to lose anymore. Right. He doesn't want to go into every season, every game, every week, every month, knowing that this team stinks. I said this on my radio show yesterday. If you're a Rockies fan, the most important thing to look out for for the rest of the season isn't how good the starters are, how many walks the starters give up, how well they hit with runners in scoring position, how many wins they have, how well Cargo does, will he get above 200? The only thing to focus on, if you are a Rockies fan, is very simple. Will Troy Tulowitzki stay healthy? Because if he does, you get more for him. If he gets injured, then you're screwed. So you think it was inevitable? Absolutely. That they were, they were gonna have to deal with Well, uh, let me address two issues. One, even though I feel sorry for Troy making $20 million a year, and you bring, everybody brings up Todd Helton. Todd Helton did get to the World Series, did get to the playoffs. So it wasn't Ernie Banks where he never got. So I don't feel sorry for Todd Helton. He got to taste it. It's right back well, there. Well, so did Troy. On the wall. Troy was right on, behind me. Yeah, and Troy was on those two teams as well. Yeah. So, I mean, they, they, they tasted what success is like. Didn't win a World Series. I would guess 90% of the players who've gone through the game have never won a World Series. So, in front, if, for that, and 100% of the Rockies would have never won a World Series. 100%. Well, those who and that's what here, eats at them. Those who have left here have. True. <laughs> They've been on. Latroy Hawkins has been on. He, he went. He had a streak where he was not in the playoffs for like 40 years of his career, <laughs> something like that. So that's that's number one, and and number two. Not only Tulowitzki, and you brought up uh, Carlos Mendoza. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. He is below the Mendoza line. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know, the Mendoza line, even though Mendoza hit about 220, 200 is called the Mendoza line, and you're, you're below. Mario Mendoza. Thank you. That's even sure. more good. But he did have a career average yes. of 218 or something like that. But now it's pretty common. We saw a guy get a double last night against the Rockies who's hitting 140. Right. <laughs> how, how bad should you feel, not only that you're not in the World Series, but you got beat by a guy last night who can't <coughs> hit 150 in the league. I don't even know what that line would be called, <laughs> 150 line. But I'm saying get rid of both of them. And when I, when I say get rid, I mean trade them. You dump. You won't get anything for Carlos Gonzalez. It does. You yes, get pennies you will. on the dollar. Yes, you will, Larry. Here, well, because, here's because, because wait, because here's, of money. Here's, here's my recommendation. No one's going to take them. It's going to be a, it's going to be a salary dump, which is fine if that's what you want to do. Well, I think there are going to be teams that look at him and say maybe his problem is he just needs to get out of there. <laughs> that's fine, but you're not going to get anything in return. You're going to get a bunch of low-level mm. prospects. I, I read the day. Well, Tulowitzki's not having a good year defensively. Probably three errors. Four. Uh, Four, yeah, and that he's you know hitting 303, and he should be hitting two 350 or something. Well, the thing about it is, I think you're absolutely right. They want out. Both of them want out. Cargo's tired of this stuff, and he's he's distanced himself. Last year, he said 
he kind of quit on the year because it wasn't going well. He's kind of quit on his career. I don't care if you get anything for it. So. This portion of the Big Stuff presented by the Celtic Tavern, the official sponsor of the Colorado Rapids soccer team. The Celtic provides a bus to every Colorado Rapids home game. Go over there, take the bus, tailgate with all your soccer-loving buddies two hours before kickoff. And the Celtic is just a couple of blocks west of Coors Field on Blake. It's the Celtic Tavern.